All right, today I'm going to show you how to use screen. It's a command on uh, Unix machines. You may have to install it uh, depending on what um, you know what, what you're using. But um, essentially, it lets you create a, a shell that's kind of like within a shell, <laughs> so that you can resume work. You can detach from that shell and reattach to it later. Uh, so if you're SSH'd into a machine like I am, I'm SSH'd into a Raspberry Pi Zero, I can start something, start some work that maybe the process is going to take like hours, and my SSH session might get terminated, and I don't want that to terminate the work that I'm doing, you know, it's going to close all that stuff down. So the screen would allow me to keep that work running while I close my SSH session, leave my house, do whatever, come back, and then I can... SSH back into the Raspberry Pi, reattach to the screen, and see where my work is at, see if it's done, all that all, all that good stuff. So let's get into it. First off, um, if you just typed in screen, it would set you up um, in a screen. So you need to exit out if um, you do that, I guess. <laughs> you, you can do it either way. That way, when you reattach, you actually have to use a number, which it looks a little messy, um, but if you name your screens, then you can reattach using the names. So I'll show you how to do that. So to do a named screen, you give it the S flag, capital S, and then you give it the name. So I'm going to do top. Now this is a screen named top. Um, if I run a command, I can see that it's there. If I hit Control A, release it, and then hit D, the D key on the keyboard. And that, once again, that's you hold down Control and hit A, you release those keys, and then you hit D. That's how screen works. They have it has keyboard commands, and you actually have to hit Control Control A, and then you hit whatever key goes in for the command. If you want to see a list of commands while you're in a screen, hit Command A, and then just as if you're typing a question mark with the Shift key, you have to hit the question mark. So if I go back into my screen and do that, it's going to bring us this help screen. We can hit space to go to the next page or hit enter to return. I'll go to the next page and hit return because that was the end. So you can see how that works. I'm going to hit control A and D to detach from that screen. Um, that's if there's work going on. If there wasn't work going on, I could just exit. I could do an exit and that would close the screen down. Um, so that we don't have that open any longer. So I'll show you how that works as well. So let's say we have, let's just do test. A new screen called test. Um, if I exit and then I go to reattach to a screen, it's probably just gonna, yeah, it's gonna pump me right in the top because top was the only screen that we had, if that makes sense. If there's more than one screen, it'll give us the name. So let's, let's do that again with test. And then we're gonna detach from it instead of closing it. And then show you that there's two different screens. One is test, one is top. And we can attach to either one of them using their names. Detach. Wait, is that capital test? Yeah. So as you can see, that's how screen works. Um, if you need more information on screen, check out the man pages. And when you open a man page, it's not like a normal, it's kind of like its own program. You have to hit the Q key. You can see that down at the bottom, press H for help or Q to quit, um, to quit out. But there's all sorts of cool things that you can do with screen. You can lock screens and do all, just all sorts of cool stuff. So check out the man pages, um, tons of useful information. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe it. Sub like it, give it a subscribe, and I'll have more videos to come. Thanks.